James Bond. Hello, I'm trying to reach Jasmine. This is she. Ja- Jasmine, uh, Jasmine is right. Yeah, this is Jasmine. And who's this? Hey, Jasmine. Yeah, Jasmine, this is this is brother <laughs> calling from the church. Uh, okay. You probably know me when you see me, but uh, you probably just don't know me by by by, by my name. But I see you all the time at the church. How you doing today? <laughs> I'm just trying uh, to, you know, get situated. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I, did, I, did I catch you at a bad time? Well, I was just running some errands. I'm getting in the car right now. And what can I do oh. for you? <laughs> uh, listen, uh, we, 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 we're calling a few of the members today. And I, like I said, I, I apologize if I caught you at a bad time. You, you, your, your occupation, you are, um, a, what are you, are you a project manager? Yeah, I work for an oil and gas company. Now, what is this about? First of all, let me ask you this. Have, have, have you been enjoying service at church? Yeah, it's very good. I love our pastor. All right. And you've been a member there for quite some time, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now, what we're doing is, I don't know if you know it, uh, Sister Jasmine, but the, the, the church has been at an all-time low of tithe. But mm-hmm. now... We, what we're doing is we're we're p- looking at certain members of the church, and we're making sure that uh, everybody is on their p's and q's when it comes to them. Now, you being a, a big time uh, project manager at all and gas company and all, and now you're making six figures, but you tithing like you're making twenty thousand. And I, I have to be honest with you, that's the reason for the call. What? I, I, I do tithe. What are you, what are you talking about? No, no, no. I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you're not tithing. You're tithing, but you're not tithing according to the amount of money that you're making. That's the problem. Why are you, I mean, you well, no, 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 hold that thought, hold that thought. Let me ask you this here. Uh, did you use some money out of your 401k to get a, a new vehicle, a new car? What? what? Yeah, I got a new car. Where you get your insurance? I mean, who the fuck? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't understand this at all. Okay. Now, let me ask you this here. Now, I, I know, uh, now, now the house you live in, yo, you, that house is actually the house that your, uh-huh. your, that your, your father left you after he passed, right? So and that house is. And that house is paid for. Again, where are you getting your information from? Because I really don't appreciate you digging into my life. I really don't know you, to be honest with you, to be discussing my finances. This is ridiculous. I'm not going to do this in the church. Okay, 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 like I said, the tithing is at an all-time low. You you said that, and I understand that, and I do what I can. You know, I'm not, I ain't rich. I mean, y'all trying, you trying to pretend like I am, but I'm not. And you don't know my, you don't know my life. All right, let me, let me ask you this. Tell me, am I right or wrong? Do you receive $1,200 a month in child support? You know what? Fuck you. Who gives you the right to be looking at my damn finances? Who, who put you up to this shit? You're not your mother mind if you think you're going to be coming at me like that. You know what? Well, well, uh, 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 I'm, we don't need all the profanity. You know what? I'm a God fearing woman. I go to church. I pay my tithes. I do what I'm supposed to do. You ain't got no motherfucking business looking at any of that. Okay. Uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm trying to see. L- listen, we can uh, we can get to the bottom of this if you just do your tax return to church on Sunday. My tax returns? Have you lost? You and that damn church and all the other in that motherfucker. Hold on. Hold on, no, Sister no, Jan. No, you hold on. Is, Ken- Is Kendra your sister? Do you know Kendra? <laughs> yeah, I know you- Kendra. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. okay. That bitch telling you all my business. No, no, let me tell you what she did. This is Thomas Miles, nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your sister Kendra got me to prank phone call you. Oh, damn. That's what she did. Damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, my God. I've been trying to cut back to my cousin. 
You know, do you you do know you do know how many you just did in that five six minutes right there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, know my heart. He knows my, he know what I'm trying to do. Pastor, <laughs> you know I've been trying to stop cussing, but you know, <laughs> he, he the one to cuss. <laughs> I mean, Kendra, Kendra, yo, my, I, oh God. Oh, okay, listen, I, I got one more thing to ask you, baby. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In the words of my grandmama, won't he do it? <laughs> really won't? <laughs> and won't he will? <laughs> Please announce yourself. Brother Alvin. Hi, Brother Alvin. Good evening, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. First of all, I want to thank everybody for calling in so promptly as directed and taking the time as you travel home to call in. Unfortunately, our pastor cannot make this call. She had an emergency meeting, so I will go ahead in his absence and start the meeting. So what i like to do is I have an announcement i like to make to this announcement team. That effective today at noon, we have a new director of ministry, and his name is Brother Alvin B And I'd like for you all to welcome Mr. B to Mr. B so I'll let you take over. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Uh, to bring you all up to speed, I was um, put in the position of the new director of ministries. And what we are doing is uh, I have been working for Pastor uh, Henderson for the last four weeks, and I have been watching several ministries uh, unbeknownst to you all. And I want to bring several things up to speed of what I think uh, we're not doing well and what we are doing good. Um, Mr. George. Yes, sir. Your live stream is dropping every single week. You do know this. Uh, not every single week. I would deny that. I would say it's sporadic due to internet issues that are beyond my control. All right, but your it 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 it, it seems to be dropping way more than what it needs to be, and and the quality of it is unacceptable as well. So I, I'm I'm letting you know what we're looking at and what we expect to get a whole lot better. I have no control over as uh, dropping their internet connection. You see what I'm saying? Like, we pay a certain amount of money for us to provide us with a solid internet connection, and if it goes down, it's literally nothing I can do about that uh, from, my, from my end. I'm not going to go back and forth with you, Mr. If it's, I don't know what it is. All I know is it's happening, and it shouldn't be happening, and we're, it's unacceptable. So how do you fix I, it? That's on you. That, that You're the tech person, so I expect you to handle it. All right. Thank you so much. Miss Francine. Yes, that's me. And Miss Francine, you are uh, the event coordinator for the youth. Am I correct? Yes. Uh, and I know you are Hispanic descent, uh, but uh, are you having problems controlling black kids? Is there an issue with you controlling black kids? Because what I have seen, it seems that they're out of control when they're in your care. So I want to know from you, is there a problem controlling black children? There is not a problem controlling African-American children. As a matter of fact, I work in a public school system with African-American children. I do not have a challenge. Okay. All right. I'm seeing a challenge when we're at the church, and that's what I want you to be mindful of. So if you're looking, these are your notes that I'm giving you, and I'm hoping you're taking them fully and trying to take them and correct them uh, to your best way possible. Okay. Miss Portia, did she ever make the line? She's over social media. Hi, sir. This is Naya. I'm on for Portia. Okay. Here's what I need you to tell uh, Miss Portia is that 
uh, it seems like whatever she's going through in her life reflects on the social media for the church, and that's not good. Does that make sense to you? No, sir. Okay. <clears throat> what is it that you don't understand? Do you know, do you know Portia? I'm letting you know what I'm seeing on social media. I'm sorry. How would you when know? I'm, what when I'm reading, talking? when I'm reading the social network, it seems like I'm I'm seeing what she's going through and not what the church is going through. I will let her know that, but I'm not understanding how you see that. Okay. Well, you let her know that, and if you want to address me, I will be at church Sunday, and I'll let you know exactly who I am. All right. Yes, sir. Aaron, I'm here, sir. And I know that you are actually dating Miss Angel correct i am sir okay here's what i want to know is she the only person that's going to lead songs does she lead the majority of the songs yes sir she is uh the lead singer of the church okay um, do you think that's favoritism being uh due to you all's relationship uh no sir i don't believe that that's favoritism sir i think it's pretty fair um and she trains other people and is teaching everyone how to lead okay I would definitely be keeping my eye, Mr. Aaron, to make sure that we are doing this decent and in order, and we are definitely spreading the love around of those that want to come up and lead a song. Understood? By all means, sir. By all means. Thank you very much. I think I've gotten to everyone. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Yes, sir. I will let you know that uh, it is 50-50 right now. If we possibly going to even need you on Sunday due to this line dropping and it's just it's just unacceptable. Whoa, 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 whoa. It could be zero. It could be zero right now. It ain't got to be 50-50. I'm sorry, who else is that speaking? Aaron. Okay, Aaron, do you have something you want to say? I do have something I want to say. I want to I want to speak up on behalf of George and the graphic team as well as Portia. Well, you go ahead and speak up on whatever you want to speak up on. I'm here for that. I want to hear what you all have to say. I believe hey, this team does a very hey, good Aaron. job of what they do. Hey, Aaron, can I say something to you? You Go go right on ahead, sir. You got I want to let you know this. This is okay. nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, and Pastor Henderson <laughs> got me to play every <laughs> last <line. laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Let me say this. I did it in good spirit. I didn't do it in a mean spirit. I wanted to have fun with you all. Somebody just pray again, because I think I lost everything the pastor taught us in the last week. We'll see you anniversary, family. Let's go, Cat Dog. I'm going to make him an offer, Cat.